Welcome back to VHS Talkers, everybody, for another 4K Blu-ray Steelbook exclusive unboxing. This time, as you can see, we've got Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness from Best Buy. On the front cover, we are graced by a wonderful three-part image with the three variants of Doctor Strange. Of course, we are looking at Defender our regular one, and Sinister. On the back, we are greeted by a dual image of Scarlet Witch. Nothing too fancy pants on the spine here. My only complaint is that the logo is a little small, but I get it. There was a lot that they had to cram in, and hey, at least it's centered. On the inside, we are graced with disc art, finally. Now, it is some images from the film, but hey, you know what? I will take anything that I can get as long as it's not just the logo etched in on a silver or blue or black background. And then we have what just might be one of my very favorite inside artworks for a steelbook yet. We have a statue of the Scarlet Witch on the left and of course the statue of Doctor Strange on the right. If you guys have seen the movie, you know how significant these statues are. Overall, I have to admit, I am quite happy with this steelbook. The last MCU steelbook that came out was, of course, Spider-Man No Way Home. Loved it. Had a bit of a matte finish, which means it might get scratched up a little bit more, but that's okay. Still looks great. And of course, you guys know how I feel about the last one that came out before that, the Eternal steelbook, which was just dreadful. So this, this is a nice change of pace. This is beautiful on the front, on the back, on the inside, and even the disc art, which I love so much. Now, seeing as how I got this a day early, thanks to Mr. Postman, this is still up for pre-order at Best Buy at the time of this posting. So if you're looking to get this steelbook, I would act quickly. Do not hesitate. However, there is an alternative over at Target which is a nice little kind of art collection of sorts. It does have a bit of a fancier looking cover than your standard 4K and your standard Blu-ray, and it does have art cards inside. However, my only caveat about that is that A, they are a little bit on the thick side when you put it in the collection, and B, it's the same price as a metal steelbook that you get from Best Buy at $34.99. For me personally, that premium price means I need to get that premium packaging, but that's just me. If you guys plan on picking up Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, either on Steelbook, on regular 4K, or Blu-ray, or DVD, or at Target, let me know down in the comments below. And until next time, guys, this has been VHS Tacos signing off. I need to go and re-watch the Illuminati get taken out in 4.5 minutes. Again, adios.